Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Lawyer Up. This is a game for 1-2 players, it's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time is 60 minutes. I know the box says 2 players, but there is a solo variant that you can play, and there's some cards in the box that will help you do that. There's also some dice that we're not going to be using that will help you determine what the AI bot should be doing. Speaking of the box, here is a quick look at the insert there. Um, again, there's some cards and some components that we're not using. This deck of cards, for example, is the Case 01, the Fairmont Tragedy. The game comes with two cases. The 00 being art of the crime, which is more like a counterfeit painting or something. There's a card that explains all of that. But the second case, which is case 01, Fairmont Tragedy, we are not using today. And the corresponding cards are in the, uh, in the box. Now, if you want to see how to tell the difference between the two, if you look on any card, it'll say somewhere on there, there's like a little stamp. It's kind of hard to focus in on, but it says case 01, up here in the upper right hand corner. So you're going to be paying attention to those cards uh, whenever you're getting everything together. All right, so there you go. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the rule book, which is actually quite small. It's about 33 pages, but again, keep in mind that the page pages are themselves are pretty small. It does a fair job of explaining. There's a couple of things that didn't make a whole lot of sense when I was going through this, so I had to look up stuff online to get some clarification. So just to forewarn you, this game, you know, may take a play or two to get the feel of it, because it is quite unique compared to other games that I've played in the past. Um, there are setup cards for each case, like this is case 00, case 00, these are all case 00. Here's the art of the crime case itself, what's going on here. And then these are the setup cards. Um, there's also one here that we chose. Um, well, I chose it. There's one that's for a short game. And then these are the witnesses that you would call for that game. Then there's smuggling operations, the spider's web. The normal game is the forger. Um, you're going to set up the game slightly different depending on which card you choose. Um, this opening statement has fewer witnesses. Um, so it's going to obviously be a shorter game. And then down here it'll tell you how the game will end and the closing statement, how what happens in case of a tie and all that jazz. So you've already, if, I, if you've already chosen one of these setup cards, then you can put the rest of these away. You don't need to do that. Um, you've also got, let's see. You've got various judges here. Um, there, there's a basic judge, which has no symbol on it. So for your first game, it's recommended that you choose the judge with no symbol on it, which is this one. Now there's two sides to these judges. Uh, the red side favors the prosecution, which is what Ida Lee is playing as today. The game starts with the prosecution face up. And then the other side is favoring the defense. So this will flip back and forth throughout the game, depending on who is favored. Um, so the rest of the judges, you can put aside out of the game. This is the cards for the uh, solo game. You can see the little dice icons here next to these explanations. I'm not going to get into that today because honestly, I didn't look at it. Um, what is this? Okay, so these are the cards that we're not using for case 00. And some of those setup cards were symbols. If you look in the upper left-hand corner of these cards, you'll see some symbols. This has a spider web on it. This setup card does not have a spider web in the upper right-hand corner, so we are not going to be using the spider web cards. However, this does have a little pen symbol in the upper right-hand corner. So seated in the starter deck here, are the regular cards plus the cards with the little pen symbol on them. But we are going to leave the spider web cards out of this particular game. And again, that will change depending on what you choose here. The short game doesn't have any symbols. So if you were playing the short game, you would remove the pen symbols as well from that starter deck. Okay, so we've I've set up the game here. I'm the defense. She's the prosecution. We're going to be tracking our influence throughout the game with these dials here. Um, you can see that there's uh, four witnesses on each side. Some favor the defense. Some favor the prosecution. Some are neutral. 
Um, you've got a starter deck here, which I've already explained, and we'll get into that shortly. Down here are the jurors. Um, you've got jurors one through six, one through six. Um, the top half um, favors the prosecution slightly, and the bottom half here, the bottom six, favor the defense slightly. There are little tracks. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So there's four spaces to each juror. Um, so the more left you go, the more it favors the prosecution. The more right you go, the more it favors the defense. When setting up the game, you're going to get a bunch of these little tokens. You're going to mix them up, and you're going to put them out onto these cards. Now, again, the top half will favor the prosecution on its innermost space, and the other half will favor the defense on its most innermost space. And these symbols on these various tokens here will come into play on the cards that we're about to see. Okay? So, um, let's go ahead and get into what a card actually looks like. Um, as far as the witnesses go, we're going to be calling these witnesses throughout the game one at a time. And whoever calls the witness gets this point value in the upper left-hand corner, assuming that it matches their color. So, if I called this witness to the stand, and it would, it would look something like this. Uh, the upper left-hand corner would face me. The bottom right-hand corner would face her. I would get three points because it's blue. It matches my color. She would get nothing because that number does not match her color. However, if she called this particular witness to the sand, she would get nothing and I would get one point. So that's why, you know, e even though this, is, this favors me, if she calls this witness, she can deny me the points on that. Even though it doesn't really favor the prosecution, she can also deny me some points that way. Um, also on this witness card are some symbols. And throughout the game, we're going to be playing cards from our hand to try and match the symbols on these cards. And then we're going to chain those cards off of each other. Um, some of these witness cards also contain text down here, what happens when they are called, or what happens when you win that particular witness. Um, it'll tell you what happens. Sway one heart, meaning sway one of these uh, bias symbols to the direction of your particular prosecution or defense, respectively. Um, so there's a couple of different things that you'll see on that. Some things that you'll see on these cards that will tell you what happens when you win or lose, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that because we haven't even seen that yet. So the game is played out. Um, there's a starter section, there's a starter thing that you do at the beginning of the game, and that's divvying up this deck into our own starter decks. Each player gets starter decks. There's like 20 some cards in here. These cards do not have a case number on them at all. And that's how you determine that's their starter deck. So as the blue player, I have all the blue cards. As the red player, she has all the red cards. On the top of these cards, you can see symbols, which will, again, match these symbols here on the witnesses. We're gonna be chaining off of them. Um, some cards are known as arguments, some cards are evidence, it all depends on, some are procedures, procedures are handed a little differently when you're playing them, again I don't want to get too deep into that because we're not there yet. Um, so just suffice it to say we each have a starter deck of cards and we're going to be drafting this starter deck here, this is shuffled. And we're going to be drafting them into our own starter decks. Now, for your first couple of games, you can just deal cards to each other and then put the rest into a, uh, a buried evidence deck. But, um, I, you know, let's just go ahead and live dangerously. We'll go ahead and play the game normally, which is what you're going to do is you're going to draw three cards. You're going to choose one to put into your own deck one to put into your opponent's deck, and one to put into buried evidence, which probably won't be seen for the rest of the game, although there are some cards that allow you to go through the buried deck and add them to your own deck or hand or whatever. So you may not see the buried deck, but there may be a card in here too that will break that rule. So yeah, um, so the first part of the game is just take the starter, the, the, the deck of cards here, you're going to draw three, keep one, she keeps one, and we bury one. And we keep doing that until we're completely out of cards here, and then the game actually starts. So just as an example, I'll go ahead and draw three cards, one, two, three, 
I will take a look at them, and then I'll try and figure out which cards I want to keep, which cards I... Now, again, this is our first time playing, so I'm not going to make great decisions here. Um, but if it were me, again, I want, I want cards to keep that are of my color, because they would earn me points. Keeping cards that aren't my color won't earn me any points when I play them. So I'm probably going to want to keep this one, just in looking at it. Um, also, some things to consider, like this actually earns me less points, but the if I have this card on top and I win, then I can sway one of these two symbols. Sway means move that particular symbol to the right or left of my choice. Um, or to the, I would prefer to, to sway it to the right to, toward the defense. But um, So I might want to consider that. Or if I take this card and I play it and I win, uh, examine means whenever you play it, I believe. Your opponent discards one painting from their examination. Um, so, all right, so let's just pick one. You know, I kind of like that, although it has fewer symbols to chain off of. I'm going to go ahead and choose... Um, I, I'm going to try and choose this one. And I'm, I'm going to give her this one. And now she doesn't look at it. We're not allowed to look at these cards at all. Uh, and then I'm going to bury this one into the buried evidence deck. So off camera, or I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do this off camera for right now. And then we'll come back when we're all done with that. So I, I do have a question. Once we're all done, do we shuffle these? Yes. Here? Once we are done with our decks, or once we're done with this, mm -hmm. we're going to take the cards that we've picked. We're going to put them into our starter deck, shuffle them up, and that's going to be our deck for the game. Yep. Okay. It's If you've ever played the board game Biblios, it's much like that, which you have not. So you have no idea what I'm talking about. But for those of you watching, if you've play, played Biblios, um, which is a much simpler version of this, um, then you'll be somewhat familiar with this opening part. All right, so stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've gone ahead off camera and taken care of the deck that was here. We've shuffled up these decks and we've drawn five cards for our starting hand for the round. There is no hand limit. However, um, you can only draw up to five at the start of the round. Um, you can also mulligan, meaning that if you don't like certain cards in your hand, you can discard them and then draw back up to your hand limit of five cards again. Um, however, Cards in your discard pile will not refresh into your main deck again like a lot of other card games. Once the once your deck runs out, that will simply usually trigger the end of the game. In fact, if we take a look at this here, it'll say, the game ends after all key witnesses have been called, meaning all eight of these witnesses have been called and resolved, or if at the end of a round, either player has no cards remaining in their deck. And then the winner is, if jurors are tied, the player with the most claimed witnesses wins the game. Um, in terms of winning, um, the more jurors that are swayed to my... If, if I have more jurors swayed to my side than her, then I win. If she has more jurors swayed to her side, she wins. So it all depends on how many we get to sway to our side. In terms of swaying bias, which are these, again, these tokens here, the numbers in the upper right actually do matter. Um, at the end of every witness, we're going to subtract the value. Whoever has the higher influence value wins that particular witness. And then the difference of the two will determine how many points that person can spend to sway bias. So let's say that I have 15 influence and she has 10 at the end of the round, at the end of the witness. That means I win that witness and I get five influence to spend to sway witnesses down here, or these jurors down here, rather. Now, I can use those five points to sway these jurors, and I have to take into consideration the cost of doing so. The cost to sway juror six costs six. I don't have enough. So I could sway one juror that was five and just move it toward the defense side and that be it. Or I can do one, two, and one, three, that adds up to five. I could do a four and a one, that adds up to five. I could do a one and a three, and that adds up to four, and then any leftover is gone to waste. Um, I could do a three, one, and one, and so on. So you're going to be spending your, your influence that you've earned to sway jurors toward your side. That's what we're fighting to do every round with each witness. 
So the way the beginning of a round works is, um, depending on who has the judge's favor, in this case it's the prosecution, um, they're going to call one of these witnesses to the stand. So is there one in particular that you want to call to the stand? She's going to choose one. I would like to choose, I would like to call Dr. Lot Van Hutten. To the stand, Who is that? This one? Yes, okay, the so expert. I'm going to flip her upside down. The number in the upper left-hand corner is your number, and the bottom in the bottom right is my number in that, in that case. To see what's on the card, though, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, whenever called, sway one bias. That means you choose which of these you want to sway. Um, okay, so you're going to sway this toward the prosecution, or do you want to sway this this way? Um, I wonder if it matters. It's up to you. I don't know if it matters. Um, I'll go prosecution. Which one? You, this one. This one? Okay, so you're going to sway that deeper into the prosecution section. It's going to be harder for me to move it back, is what that is. Okay. Um, and it says, if the prosecutions should win this round, then they will also sway to bias. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty crazy. Okay. okay. All right, quick note, um, this is something that I had to try and look up and I couldn't find it, so if we get this wrong, that's what it is. Um, it says to sway one bias, and I'm assuming that she can choose whatever one she wants to sway. I don't know if sway one bias means sway one bias on a juror one, because it says one, or it just simply means sway any one bias. It doesn't really say. Um, so, or if we have to stick to the card here, these symbols, it, it doesn't say in the rule book. It just simply says, sometimes an effect will have a player sway a bias. When swaying a bias on a juror, players move the bias token on that juror's card one step closer to their side. So it, this is an example of what I was talking about. Sometimes this rule book is not 100% clear. It seems like it's specified on these cards. Okay, so I'm assuming that means sway. I wish it said sway any one bias. Yeah. That would have been more clear. All right, so... Now you get to take one action, and the actions that you can take on your turn are listed right here on the reference card. You can play a card from your hand to start chaining off of this witness. You can only play cards, however, that match at least one symbol. So you've got to match a card that either has an orange magnifying glass, a blue head, or a green scale. Uh, just one. It doesn't matter if the others don't match, so as long as one symbol matches. Um, you also get four influence for playing or from calling this witness because this matches your color. This red four for me does not affect me at all because it's not my color. Okay. okay. So you can either play a card from your hand to start chaining. Um, then you could also play a procedure, which is like an action card, to your procedure area, but you can't play them as soon as you put it down. You have to wait a turn, then play them in the future. Yeah. Um, you can activate a procedure in play, which is what I just said. Exhaust your sidebar. That's one thing I didn't go over. Everyone starts with a sidebar token. You can flip it. Assuming that you've got the judge's favor, you can flip it lose favor with the judge by flipping it over, but you get to um, draw one card um, and gain the, or I'm sorry, I, I said that wrong. Whenever you use this, you can draw a card and then flip this to your side, is what I meant to say. So whenever you use this particular token, you would just flip it over face down, you would gain the judge's favor, and then you get to draw a card. So it's a way of getting the judge to go onto your side if you need her, if you need them to be on your side for some reason. And if she's already on your favor. If she's already on your favor, then it's she stays where she is, mm -hmm. but you still get to draw a card. Okay. Okay. Or you can simply pass. Mm -hmm. Pass means that you're done for the round and your opponent can play as much as they want until they they pass as well. Okay. Okay. So I guess go ahead and play one action. So you're going to play this zero neutral. So you're going to chain these two symbols. Mm -hmm. um, it just says here, uh, magnifying glass and blue. Um, now this examine says it's plus five value if you have four or more of these magnifying cards in play, which she doesn't. Now one thing to note, when you start, when you play another card, it goes off over top this. So this effect will no longer be available to you once you cover this up. So you may want to pl you want to play a different card and play that later when you've got more magnifying glasses out there. This being our first game, we're going to yeah. be doing a lot of this for the record. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can actually see the iconography it's and fine. 
You sure? Yeah. All right. Again, I'm, I'm not going to be doing very well because of I just don't know what I'm doing. So let's take a look at this stuff. Um, uh, wow. I don't know if I like that. I mean, that was, that's something I would want to play later, probably. Um, do any of those symbols match? They do not. Do any of that one does. But the downside is... Yeah, these cards are terrible. Maybe I should have mulliganed. Um, I know, me too. <laughs> um, let's do... I mean, I, I would want to play that last because of this here, assuming I would win. I, I don't think I'm going to win this argument, to tell you the truth. So, um... Let's just get rid of that. But now you have to build off of either of these two symbols, mm -hmm. which is going to be more difficult to do. Which one does yours say? That's the same as yours, except mine is plus five value if you have four or more of these mm -hmm. mind cards. Or, what is that? Skull cards in your examination, which I don't. Um, okay, M Judge, may I come to the sidebar? <laughs> okay, you've already got it, her in your favor, but yeah. you can still use it if you want to. I'd like to. These do not refresh if you win. Yeah. The only person, if let's say that this is spent, um, this only unspends and refreshes when you lose a witness. So by using it now, you're drawing a card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's my turn again. Yes, sir. Um, at this point, like... This is tough. This is crap, is what it is. <laughs> um, I could play... I mean, I could play... The only ones I could play is this and this. Alright. So... I'll go ahead and play this one. Which matches this. Now, this says D2 on it, so that means I get two points. Uh, you get zero points for that one because there's no 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 uh, number there. But I get two points for playing that card, and it is your turn again. Jeez, I will play this one. It's a five. Um, this is an argument um, on victory. Lose all influence. <laughs> That's this stuff, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you you're gonna lose it anyway, which. <laughs> That means you, on victory, that means you lose all influence. So that means that whenever, that means you won't be able to sway jurors yeah. here. Because you won't have anything to subtract from. Mm -hmm. um, but that's only if I won the whole thing, right? Correct. If you, if you won, no, if, if you won this witness mm -hmm. and this card were on top. Yeah. On a victory, mm -hmm. that means that, I mean, we would compare influence. Yeah. You would, if you won... Then when it comes time to subtract the two influence to see how many people you sway down here, that would reset to zero. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gathering this to mean. Mm -hmm. But I get five for now. You get five for now. Right. So you're up to nine at this point. Um, I mean, at this point, I, I honestly... Um... I don't have a discard pile yet, so playing, I mean, I could play that or I can save this for a future turn. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a whole lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to pass, I think, because I can't. So I'm done with this round. This is a crappy round. And now you can keep playing for as much as you want to until... Well, dang. All right. I will... Oh, no. I guess I'll just do this one then. Okay. So that's another three points for your influence. And examine. Draw one procedure from your discard pile. That means that when you played it, you don't have a discard pile right now, so there's yeah. nothing to utilize there. <laughs> Well, yep, so you've got way more influence than me at the moment. And 
Now these, all these cards go away after? No, the at the end of the round you keep what's in your hand, but when you go to draw five, before you draw up to your hand limit again, you can mulligan what you have in your hand if you yeah. want. Okay. I guess <laughs> I will pass then. Okay. So we're done with the round. You've got way more influence than me. You've got your four plus that's nine, that's 12. twelve. You've got your twelve, I've got two. Um, so you clearly win this witness. Um, and the difference between the two, uh, two is 10. Um, so now we would look to see what the, any victory conditions were. This one is victory, prosecution, victory, sway, to bias. So that, I think that means that you can move two of these mm -hmm. in, a, in your direction. So like you can do one twice or yeah. so it's up to you. All right. I'm um, feeling I'm going to lose this horribly. No, absolutely not. You're already like, sw <laughs> you're already really good right now. Mm -mm. You've got a strong case. Yeah, I doubt it. All right, I'm going to do... <sighs> I guess I'll do one, two here. Okay. All or right. Actually, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll just do one... Okay. And the heart one. The heart? This one? Yeah. Two. Okay. All right. So at the end of the round, I believe we clean up all of this stuff. You won this this witness, so mm -hmm. it goes off to the side. At the end of the game, whoever has more witnesses in the case of a tie wins. Mm -hmm. So you won that. These go into your discard pile. These go into my discard pile. Mm -hmm. um, had we played any procedures, they would stay in play until we decided to use them. Those okay. are those action cards, remember? Yeah. What so about the influence? That resets to zero. So what did I use it for? Nothing? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so 10 minus, t uh, 12 minus 2 is 10. Mm -hmm. So you can now sway up to 10 bias here. Really? Yes. 10 times? No, that means you have to look at the numbers, though. Oh, I see. I see now. Oh, okay. So if you wanted to sway, you can sway... Five and five is ten, so you could sway these two jurors, or add, and you have to add these numbers up to ten. I see. Okay, I think I get it. I see. Okay. So we'll do um, three six like that. Three six. Okay, you've got four left. Seven eight. Seven eight. And. Nine ten. Okay, so there you go. All right. Um, now this resets to zero. That resets to zero, and now um, we can draw up to our hand limit. But we can first discard cards that we don't want. Um, do I have? Okay, mine. You're okay with that, and this one. I guess I'll just leave. I guess I'll. Hmm. I'll leave that there for now. Do these always stay down like this. If you win, if you if you've won, that stays face down. I see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop to my hand limit then. One, two. All right. So I've got these cards. Um, so you've got the judge's favor still, right? Mm -hmm. So you can call another witness. Okay. All right, wait a minute. The loser, let me let me take a look at the rule book yeah. real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, good thing I checked. Um, the loser wins the favor of the judge. In this case, it's me. And now I can I can go. I so, let's see. Let's do draw one card or any from it. I don't like that one. All right, let's go with uh, Henry Antonui. Sure. All right, so I'm going to call him. Um, I get four influence, and you get zero, mm -hmm. because the number down here is blue. Um, and the when called, I get to sway one bias. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and sway... Um, I'm going to sway this one back to blue, I think. And 
defense victory sway two bias. So I'm going to try and win this if I can. So I'm going to play a card now. Um, let's see. How do you win again a card? Win it? What do you mean? Like, how do you claim the witness? You have to have more influence than your opponent. Influence, okay. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. What am I going to want to put in here that would help me out? I like to play a lot of these, but... So, I could, I could chain these together with that. And, okay. Okay, so I'm going to play this one, mm -hmm. which matches all symbols. I get four more, and I'll be examined. Reveal your hand. Play with your hand revealed until the current witness is claimed. So now you have a look at my hand as to what I can do. Can I object it? Um, it is an argument, so yes, you can object it if you want. Objection, Your Honor. Objection. So you have to flip one of your objection tokens down. You've got three of them. Yeah. Objection simply means that I have to discard this and then play something else. Mm. So in that case, let's see. Um, that kind of sucks. Objection, Your Honor! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Objection yourself. <laughs> All right. Um, what to, I don't even know what that card did. I just wanted to try. I really should have looked at... I really should have looked at the um, symbols <laughs> before I start. I'm I'm gonna be that's, that's horrible. That's what I did. Like, I'm gonna be horrible at this, for the record, because I don't have. All right. Now, does this guy count as your examination? Yes, it does. Okay. What, what do you mean, my examination? Like when it says, um, um. Examination like the means yeah, or... like yeah, correct. Okay. So I played this. It says neutral two. Okay. So I get two added to that. And it just says victory. Um, bury all paintings from your opponent's examination and discard it. So rather than you discard your paintings, I bury them. All my paintings? Assuming I win. Oh, I see. I think. Yeah. I see. But when you cover that one up... Then that won't, that won't yeah. matter. Yeah, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um... One second, sorry. Mm-hmm. I have to wonder. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to do this one. All right. So that one says, it's an, a four. Um, evidence painting forgery. Um, examine. If the top card of your opponent's examination is a painting, shuffle your discard into your deck. If it is a forgery, draw one card. So this is examination. Mm -hmm. So because it is... It's neither, so it it's doesn't neither, matter. It's neither, so it doesn't matter. Okay, but you still get red four yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I will play... Okay. This one, I'm, I'm chaining off of the heart and the skulls. I get one point. Nice. And this says, um, add one Vermeer card from your discard to your examination, ignoring bias, meaning... I don't have to match symbols. Um, so I've got one Vermeer card, which is this one. It says zero, but um, that will give me something I may need for later. 
That's this card there. Okay. Yeah, I needed it for that. Okay. So again, just go ahead and zoom in so you guys can actually see the... There you go. Two neutral, um, and that says, exam if your opponent has five or more cards in their examination, sway one bias. You don't. I don't. I still have three. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, I don't have a whole lot of options here, so I kind of have to play this one. Um, this matches that. It's four more. And... That says, gain the judge's favor, and then immediately take the pass action. So I can no longer do anything for this round. Okay. I'm going to play this one. Zero. Okay, that one is plus five value if you have four or more thumbs up cards in your examination. Now, I don't know if... That's why I asked if, if the witness counted as an examination board. I would assume so. Um, well, first of all, you got you should have six, right? Because mm -hmm. of this two. Yeah, sorry, six. Okay, and now you've got that zero. Now is that plus five? It's plus five value if I have four more, and that's why I. It would only be four more if this guy was a thumbs up too. Yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll we'll just house roll it and say yeah. So that's what plus five. So that's another. Eleven. That's eleven. Now, is that a tie? That is a tie. Oh my gosh, does the defense get it? I don't know. Um, I think the defense breaks ties. Oh, I calculated that so wrong. No. <laughs> okay, so when looking at the rule book, um, in the case of a tie, whoever's the judge's favor wins. <laughs> but that is crap for me because I have zero influence now to sway bias, and she gets the judge's favor now for the next round. But, Cause, but you have favor, so you won it. You claim the witness. I claim the witness, sure, but... So you get to sway two bias. I, oh, yeah. Well, I guess that helps. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will sway two bias. That's fine with me. Um, I'm going to go one, two. Okay. Um, so I get to keep this guy. This goes into my discard pile. This goes into yours. However, 11 to 11, Yeah. Um, I don't get to do anything with these guys down here. And now you have the judge's favor. Okay. Do these, does this get... As the loser, these objection tokens are one-offs, yeah. but the sidebar does refresh. Okay. So now we draw up to five cards again, assuming you don't want to discard down first. <laughs> really? These are crap cards. <laughs> yeah, they are, dude. Okay. I would like to call Yuri Volkov to the stand, please. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yes. Right. Yuri Volkov. You get three red, and I get nothing. Okay. The effect here is called search the buried evidence for one painting and add it to your hand. Hmm. So you get to search the buried evidence yeah. for one painting and add it to your hand. On a victory, sway one skull. One of these skulls. This one or that one. Okay, I got the paintings right now. Mm -hmm. It's not very many. Okay. This is the worst. Alright, so... Well, I could either use these as these to use later, or I can use them to help with this crapola. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If I put down a card and it doesn't say prosecution, it says defense, do you get those points? No, I do not. I see. You just simply don't get any points. I see. So what are my cards? I don't even know.
Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I will do... Okay. I'm going to do... Hold on. I know which one I'm doing. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Screw it. What the heck, man? I'm going to shuffle this. This is terrible. Alright. So, now what? Is it my turn? Yeah, you get to take one action. Alright, I'm going to... Um... Do this one. Wow, it's a five right out of the gates. So you've matched the skull there. Okay. So you're up to what? Eight yeah. already? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, um, am I going to win this? I, I, all right, I'm going to uh, play this as a procedure. Mm -hmm. This simply says, as an action, if you have the judge's favor, add the top two cards of your deck to the examination, ignoring bias. Then, lose the judge's favor and discard this card. So, I'm just going to put this off to the side as an action that I could take in the future. And it is your turn again. Okay, so that's your procedure area. Yeah, this is my procedure area. All right. What does it say again? One more time, sorry. When I play it, I can take two cards from the top of my deck and add them here. I see. Ignoring Ignore bias. bias symbols. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, mama. Okay. okay. I'm going to play a procedure. If you have the judge's favor, add the top two cards. Wait. Yeah. Add the top two cards of your deck to your examination. That's the same thing I just played. To your examination, ignore by and then I lose the judge's favor. And yeah, that's the same thing I have. Bribery, oh. <laughs> bribery. It's the same card. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna play. You can't. You can play it here, but you can't activate it until a future turn. It says activate a pro oh! Activate your 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 action play. right now I was see. to add I the see. procedure card to your area. I see. I see. On a future turn, you can play it. I see. Oh man! All right. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. I, I will. Oh, okay. So you have. To, it's now my turn. Oh, I did not get it. Okay. All right. Um. Now I have a question. What? If. Once this whole thing is over, do your procedure cards stay in play? Yes, they stay in play. Forever? Until you use them. Oh, cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, I think, play this card, because I, my, you know. Yeah. So I'm going, well, first, no, before I can do that, I have to use my sidebar token to gain the judge's favor. And I draw a card. Um, now that's just something I can do. It's not one of my I, actions. I thought your sidebar is... It, it is an action. You're right. So now it's your turn. It, one of the actions oh, is exhaust your sidebar, draw a card, and gain yeah. the judge's favor. That's one of the actions you can take on your turn. I see. So I did that. I now have the judge's favor, and I drew a card. Now what if I did the same thing and put... Then go ahead. Then you get a card, and this goes back to you. Yeah. Okay. So now it is my turn. <laughs> That's rough. It is. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, not at all what I wanted. Now this goes away. Or no, I didn't use this yet. Um, hmm. I guess I will... Play. Do I have? I don't have that. Okay. Just trying to see what I can and can't do with these cards. Yeah. Um. This is. 
Wow, all of the symbols I have. All right, so I'm gonna have to play that one. It gets me zero points, but it's a, it's a, it's a procedure, but I'm so using it as a regular points. argument or uh, procedure. So basically I've now matched every symbol and I can build off of that as I see fit. Nice. And it is now your turn. Okay, that's a good one. What is the action? No, uh, it just, that's if you use it as a procedure. Oh. I'm not using it as a procedure, I'm using it as a wild. These procedures are typically either used as a wild to help you match symbols or as a as an actual action card. I see. Okay. I'm gonna put this off to the side. It's another procedure? Yeah. Alright, so she's got here, let's put these closer so the camera can see what you're doing. Sorry. Um, okay. And what does that one say? Action. If you have the judge's favor, refresh your sidebar and play one card from your hand, ignoring bias. Then lose the judge's favor. Hmm. Okay, so you can refresh your sidebar with this. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay. So now it's my turn again. All right, so I am going to... Do I have one? I do not. Okay. So I guess I'll do, um, you've already got how many points? Eight? Yeah. My God. Okay. Um, I guess I'll play this one, which gives me five. Um, so I'm going to take five points. One, two, three, four, five. There's no action. To, it's just a five point card. It's similar to this one. Okay. All right, my turn? Yep. What if I do this one? Um, okay, now this says examine. If the top card of your opponent's examination is evidence, discard it. Um, so by playing that, I have to just discard this one because that's evidence. Yeah. So this has to go away. Now, do your points go away or do Yes, I believe the points also go away. Oh, jeez. So I'm back down to zero. Well, you're killing it. Sorry. No, that's fine. Um, no, it says victory, discard one of your claimed witnesses, which is probably this one. Right. What do these do anyways? At the end of the game, if we have tied this for jurors, okay. whoever has more witnesses wins. I see. Interesting. Um, well, that limits what I can do. Um, I mean... Oh, boy. Huh. Well. Okay. I'm going to play this one. Nice. And the examine. Add one Rembrandt card from your discard to your examination, ignoring bias. So I'm going to take the card that you just got rid of. Oh. That is a Rembrandt. Yeah, it is. And I'm going to add it back to my examination. It said ignoring bias. I feel yeah. like you could have taken advantage of that, too. Well... No, no, that's okay. That's good. I needed to... So I've got so six... So you got six now. Yeah, I'm up to six. Good but, job, babe. Yeah, well. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right. For my turn, I'm going to use the procedure action. All right. So you lose the judge's favor. Mm -hmm. But what does that say to do? I refresh my sidebar... And I can play a card from my hand, ignoring bias. Okay, so this is discarded now, right? Yes. And it will be this one here. Okay, so you're going to play that one. And this one is examine. If the top card of your opponent's examination is an argument, discard it. But it's not it an is argument, not. yeah. Yeah. So it's fine. All right, so you've got two more, right? Yep. Okay, so you're killing it. Um... Hmm. I'm fighting this. This is going to be rough. Okay. So I guess what I'll do is I've got the judge's favor. You're winning in points. So I'm going to have to start calling in everything. So if you have the judge's favor, add the top two cards of your deck to the examination. Mm -hmm. um, then lose the judge's favor and discard this card. So I'm going to switch this. I'm going to add two cards to this. And hopefully it's two that... I have to put them in the order that I need. Okay, 
So I want to do um Okay. So I want to put ignoring bias, that mm -hmm. one and then that one. Nice. So now I have two. Mhm. Mm and the examine says uh, plus five value if you have four or more mind cards in your examination. Nice. I have four here, plus, uh, yeah, there's, that's it, so I have four. So this is another five, so that brings me up to 13. Nice, okay. But you've got the judge's favor, mm -hmm. and that could go either way at this point. I am going to use my bribery as well. Okay, so you you add two cards now. Yeah. That goes back to me. So they're just two random ones? Two, two top, and then you you put them in here the way you want. I see. As far as I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so I guess we'll do that one and this one. Okay, so that that's five points for you. Yep. And this one says, bury one card from your opponent's discard. Okay, so you have to look at my discard pile now, and here, you do this and I'll fix that. Okay. So you, you have to put one of those cards in the bury deck. Um, jeez. Paintings are nasty. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bury the the mirror card. Well, no, I gotta bury something that gives you high points. Mm-hmm. You... Okay, I'm going to bury this one. Okay, so yeah. just put it... Give me a painting. All right. So there. Yeah, just put it there. And here are your cards back, sir. Okay. Defendant. All right. You still got some things left to play. Oh, it's your turn. It's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and play this one, which gives me five points. Mm -hmm. So that's... I'm up to 18. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. And it is your turn. I am going to... I'm going to use my sidebar and claim favor and draw a card. Okay. So you've got favor and you get a card. Mm -hmm. um, at this point... Um... There's nothing left I can do, so I have to pass for now. I'm going to put this off as a procedure. Okay. Um, you still get to take a turn. Huh? Said so you still get to, yeah, yeah, I pass, so you can keep going. Okay. <laughs> oh man, this is rough. I don't like this card. Um, I'll do this one. Each player draws a card. Each player draws a card. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I got that. Wow. Not that I can play it. I'm going to play this one. Three. Okay. So you get three points there. Resolve the victory effect of another card in your examination. Um, so I choose which one? You get to choose which one. I don't know if I like that. Is that an argument? Yeah, it is. You can object. I'm going to object to that. <laughs> oh, man. So now you've got to find something else to play. <laughs> okay. I don't like the idea of you being able to, like, <laughs> double chain victory like that. Objection! What is, what is the witness deck? The witness deck are the witnesses that we do not use during setup. 
but there's still other witnesses that are... You see. That, yeah, they're shuffled into their own face-down pile to be used in situations that call for them. How much do you have? You have 18. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to cool it, I think. Yeah. You're done? Y yeah, because okay. you have 18 and I have 20. You have 20? Yeah. Where'd you get 20 from? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I you could have sworn I had 20. You had, but I got rid of it. Oh my god, so that's 17? Yeah. Oh, you have 18. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, okay. That's why I was wondering, like, okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. You can call it if you want. I'm going to use my surprise witness. Okay, you're going to use your surprise witness. What does that do? If you have a judge's favor, claim the current witness card and replace it with the top card of the witness deck. Okay, what's that card doing over there? Oh, sorry. This is a discard. That's not a discard. This is your discard. That's my discard. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. My witness. So this favor goes to me. Yeah, and but I claim that card. You claim it as your own and a new card comes out. Yes. Please let it be terrible. All right. So. Now, now what happens if I call it? It's a call. I call the surprise witness. I'm assuming. Um, like, where, where do those points go? I think you get some and I get... So you get two, I get two. Okay. <laughs> and when called, your opponent plays with their hand revealed this witness. Well, my hand is... Sure, I'll reveal it. But I called it, so wouldn't that be me? Yeah, it says called your opponent. Right. Oh, I see. So me. See. Okay. Right. Um, on victory, draw one card from your opponent's examination. Um, okay. Victory, draw one card. Jesus. All right, see. So, all right. So now we've got this godly gook. Yeah. My hand is revealed because of that called effect. I get two, you get two. Yeah. So I'm up to 20. I got 19. Oh, right. man. That's Are you one. done or can you do anything else? No, I can't do anything else. All right. So I won the witness by one point. Um, as a victory, I can uh, draw one card from your opponent's examination, which is here. Oh, nice. So I think I'm going to take this one. Yeah, see? <laughs> Didn't I just bury that one? <laughs> I don't know. Did you? I think I did. These all go to discard. These go to discard. That, now that I claim this one, do I get to sway one skull? Um, I think so. I... I, I, I well, um... You can check from the... Because doesn't claiming mean Vic... Well, I don't know. Technically, I mean... The player who won the witness claims that card and places them in their claimed witness. The player... All right, and that says... It doesn't say anything... Resolve victory. Okay, resolving the witness. After both the prosecution defense have passed, the witness is resolved according to the following. Compare influence, resolve victory, defeat effects, spend influence, claim the witness. So it doesn't. So it, Resolving happens before claiming. So there was really no victory there. You just claim the witness. Yeah, but it says claim current witness, and there it says, like, whenever the, the word claim is throwing me off, because when you claim a witness, you gain the, well, the victory conditions. Don't no, you? well, no, it's claiming the witness means putting it into your pile. It doesn't say anything about the resolve victory defeat. That comes two steps before claiming the witness. Oh, okay. So, like, I think that card is get rid of that witness and bring out a new one, in my opinion. But again, that this is a learning curve that. Okay. It's just weird because then why would I even use this card? To get rid of a witness that is bad, is good for me, maybe. Mm, okay. Damn. That's a really nasty card then. Because, I don't know. It's, I guess it's situational. <laughs> All right. So, in that case, um, I'm lost. So, uh, All right. so you, I, this is my hand. You, yeah, you did your stuff. Um, I we, get... We're on this part. All right, so I get, I get to sway once mm -hmm. because 20 minus 19 is one. So I'm just going to move uh, this one over one. Okay. That's it. Um, and the judge, you, because I won that, this goes to your favor. Okay. Um, as the loser, you I can refresh, refresh your sidebar. I cannot. Now we can mulligan. If we want to discard anything, we can. Um, I'm just going to draw two. 
All right, so I've got this. And because you're the prosecution, you get to claim your next, or you get to call your next witness. Yes. I call... We'll see. Uh, I'm thinking. Hold on. No problem. Probably trying. I, sh I, I. That's one thing I forgot to do when calling witnesses is like look at the symbols in my hand and see what I can use. Yeah. I'll have to reset this. There you go. And this is a reminder, folks. This is our first time playing. We're not going to get all the rules 100% right, especially with a game as complicated as this. I will call Luke Vizzer to the stand, please. Okay. Um, called name Rembrandt, Vermeer, or Bray. Your opponent reveals their hand and gives you all cards of the name type. So you have to name name one, one of, those? of those three things. Um, Vermeer, please. I think it's Vermeer. Vermeer. <laughs> the one that you that you. The have. one I took from you. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wow. All right, so I get one, you get three. Uh, no, I'm no, sorry, you, don't no get any. you only get one. Right, because yeah. it's my color. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot. These go back. All right. So it's your witness. You get to take your action. All right, sir. I must ask you a question, sir. Uh-huh. Um... Um, sir, I, I must ask you, have you ever seen an, a painting as ugly as Jun Hom Hasis? <laughs> okay, uh, victory, refresh. Okay, so this is just a victory condition. You get one point, it's a neutral. Yep. So, did you already add one? No. Nope. Alright. I am going to play... Um... I guess I'll pl oh, I can't do that one. Crap. The order in which I need to play these, that sucks. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, it does tell me about it. So maybe I'll play... I can't play that one first. Wow. Well... I, I, need, I need points. So, um... I guess I'll play that one. That's just four points. So I'm up to five. That's just victory, draw one painting from either player's examination. Nice. I shall do this one. The Same skull. Praxity, the one that I just took from you. Okay. <laughs> That's another, wow, six. so you're up to six. Yep. Um, Do I have? I'm gonna check something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's do. I guess we'll do, I kind of like, I want to say that for last, but I don't know if I'm going to win this one. How many points do you have? Six? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, all right, I'm going to do this one. It's just a wild, nothing else. Should do this one. All right. So it's a two, mm -hmm. so you get two points. And it says, examine, cancel the primary or secondary value of this witness. 
What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> get rid of that number or this number. Oh, really? Yeah. So I would lose one point. Yeah, I did that one. Okay. So I'm down to four. Okay. And the defeat, if I de get defeated, I cancel the victory effect of this one. Wow. Okay. Gee, that's nasty. Um, let's go with this one. And it says, draw one procedure from your discard. Objection! Okay. So, all right, well, go ahead and flip that over. I'm sorry, love. Jerk. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of options here. You know, I feel so bad. I really do. No, you don't. I do. You took all the cards from me. <laughs> well... I, no, I get to oh, play oh, something. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. It's uh -huh. not my fault. My yeah, fault. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that was completely useless. Wow. I, I, wow. Okay. Alright. Um, I think he's a lost cause at this point. <laughs> You've got... I'm... I think I'm gonna pass at this point. <laughs> You're gonna pass. I have no I'm other choice. Sorry, babe. I'll do this one. And what does that say? Oh, wait. Actually, oh, fudge. No, I have to. Yeah, that's fine. Damn. This says plus five, four or more heart cards. You don't have that, no. so. This one? Okay, it's a wild. So I you get, get one, one point. point. Mm hmm. Nine. It says plus two influence for each forgery in either examination. I have none here. Okay. Do you have any forgeries have here? One, one, two, and then this one, three. Uh, does that... I guess that's on victory, yeah. yeah. Okay. So is that six? How much is that? Six? Then? That would be six in additional... One. Right. All right, so I'll play this one. But that's, you play that on top of it, so... Yeah, you're that's not gonna... okay. Okay. I'll, I'll play that one instead. Alright, so, plus for each car... Oh my god. I'm driving the point home. I'm gonna object to that one. Ooh, nice. Okay. I can't allow that. Alright, this is discarded. So I'll get this one instead. Yeah, well, that's a lot. You would have a lot of points <laughs> if that one were to stay. Plus two for each card in her examination yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. So, alright, so at the end of the... Round, you've got how many points? Nine to four? Six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, let's, so, well, first let's do this. You've got nine. No, well, I, I, did, I don't remember if I added a point to this, so I'm just counting it now. Uh, okay, so you've got one, six, uh, oh, nine. eight, n nine. Okay. So you've got nine. Nine. Now you won, so now this victory says what? Plus two influence for each forgery in either examination. Okay, so you had six there, right? Six. So that's 15? 15. So 15 minus four is 11. You crushed me on that one. So now you get to sway 11... 11 thingies. Yeah, which is really good. These go into a discard. These what was the victory on this, if anything? Victory, sway one heart. So go ahead and sway one heart first, and then do your 11. Heart. Okay. And 11, I'll do... I think the prosecution has this in the bag. No. Just you me. can still make a comeback, I'm sure. See, I need way more than 11. <laughs> that stinks. As the loser, I get that. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. All right. Um, so now we draw up to five cards. Go ahead, draw up the five cards. Oh, actually, crap. I can't take it back, can I? Take what back? My 11. Go ahead. Okay, can I do this instead? 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So can I do 10? No, that's, that's a lot. 5. Oh, you know what? I'll keep it there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Is there any cheating going on there? No, 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 oh, okay. no, no. Absolutely not. 
I see. I put it back down here and I put these. I see. All right. I know. I'm joking. Okay. All right. All right. This um, all goes back down to zero. All right. I am going to call um, this guy, I think. Uh, Jamshid Medini. Um, call, draw one card at random from your opponent's hand. Then give one card to your opponent. I don't know if I like that. Uh, let me see real quick before I do that one. No. Okay, I hate to... Well, here's the thing. I could do that. This would potentially, though, give her... Ugh. All right, I'm going to have to do this. I'll draw one card at random from your opponent's hand and give her... Okay, so I'm going to have to draw, take one from you. And... So... Wait, what's going on? I called this guy. Yeah. I get two... Did you reset your thing? Yeah, I did. I have zero. All right, you, I get two, you get zero. Mm -hmm. Called, draw one card from your hand at random. Then give you one card. So I get to take one. No, I don't want you to. Dang it. Oh, man. Holy cow. I can't stand you. Which one did you get? No further questions. It's a... Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, so, so I, I have to give you one. All right. Um, You're choosing which one? Yeah. You can give me back my card. You know? No. <laughs> um, That's funny. I don't need this. Okay, I'm going to give you this one. Yeah. It'll help you out. Yeah, sure, I will. Ugh. <laughs> you jerk. Right. Now, can I actually use this as a procedure despite it being a defense? I think so. Okay. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay, so now it's my turn. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Address the jury. And I get to sway one bias. Okay. So I get two points into sway one bias. So I'm going to sway... You've got a lot of good ones down here. Um, let's go with that one. Okay. Um, so I'm up to four. And it is your turn. I'm going to use my... Um, oh, yeah. My... Oh, wait, because then if I did that. Okay. I'm going to use my sidebar. Sidebar. So you're going to draw a card and gain the favor. Actually, yeah, there yeah. you go. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Three points and bury one card from your opponent's discard pile. That's it. So I have to go through all Actually, of Actually, objection. <laughs> objection. You're going to object? All right. Objection. So I have to play a different card now. I object to that. I see. That's BS. I don't want him touching my discard pile. I see. <laughs> and I don't want him getting those three points. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I <laughs> Well, that screws that up. Um I think I'm going to use my sidebar, mm -hmm. draw a card and flip that back to my side. But that doesn't really help. Okay. Now it's my turn. Yeah. I will do this one. 
Two points. All right. Sway one bias. Mm -hmm. You keep drawing the same ones I'm drawing. That's the same card. You don't object, so. <laughs> no, th this is literally that card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Sway one bias. I shall sway um, this one here. Okay. Um, How do you lock in? You, that's a different variant. The oh, back I of see. these jurors have locks on them. I see. That's for the case number 001. I see. Okay. Um, well, I kind of have to play this. That messes up everything I had. Well, I need to get these out of here. So I'm going to play that. I get no points from it. Mm. And it says your opponent discards one painting, but you don't have any paintings. I see. Okay. Um, oh. I will... So I should have four here, because you objected. I'm going to put this off to the side as a procedure. Okay. Um, I'm going to play that. Oh, that hurts. That sucks. These cards, like, this is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. All right. Um, I guess I'll do that one. It's three points. Nice. One, two, three. I will do... Hmm. <sighs> yeah, that's okay. what I said. Yeah, that's tough. I shall do this one, the stupid card that you gave me just to lock it. Okay. Um... All right, I guess I am going to have to pass. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um this one. All right, Evidence. so you get two points. Yep. Okay. Four points. Five points? Five. Yep, so you get another one. And I shall play this one last. Z okay, so this one is plus two value for each magnifying glass card currently in your examination. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's two, four, six, eight. I don't. I don't think this counts. It says in your examination. This is your examination. I thought the witness was in the examination because if that's the case, then I should not have gotten five points. Then it's fine. Again, we're not gonna. I'm not here to play perfectly. I'm sorry. No, I'm just. I'm pretty sure your examination is this, and my examination is this. I don't know if these symbols count toward that or not. Okay. All right. All right. But so you still will... got more points. That's what? Six? Six. So add six to yours. Oof. Right? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Oh, it's the way the game is played. That's 11. Right. So, I mean, I could be a jerk and object to it. You could. You could. The question is, 
do I want to burn my last objection on that card? Um, actually, I kind of do. <laughs> so now you won that card? Yes, so that goes back to... Wow. It sucks that I'm burning it on that card, but yeah. I need it because of something else. Yeah. So, um... That goes... So you claim that witness? So I got seven to your what? Five. Five. Okay. So I'm claiming this witness. Victory sway one scale. I'm going to claim that. Skull? Oh. Scale. Oh, damn. Um, these. Now this victory says plus two influence for each card in your. Now I was hoping for more cards here. But mm -hmm. two, four, six. That's another six that I add to this. So I'm up to. 13. That's why you wanted that so bad. Yeah, I, that's, that's an extra setup. So 13 minus 5 is 7. Mm -hmm. So now I can sway up to 7 on this. Nice. Um, which isn't a whole lot, considering. Because um, you've got a lot of things going on down here. 7. Um, you locked in a lot of stuff. Just, alright, so I'm going to do... One, two, and so it's six, seven. Okay. So, yeah. So now these go discard pile. Those go discard pile. Yep. Um, you didn't use that. No. You, you made me burn all my cards, babe. Good job. Well, I'm going to discard this one that I took from you. It's crap. Um... Oh, so you could discard any number? It's not your mulligan. When you're mulligan, yeah. When you're mulligan, you get rid of cards that you don't want and then add back up to your hand size. Okay. Any number. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that one I stole from you. I should <laughs> probably put... It doesn't matter. These, these will go into a separate pile anyway. All right, so I'm going to reset this to zero. Mm -hmm. You lost, so you get the judge's favor. And I get the, my sidebar back? You do get your sidebar back. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to go one... Two. Okay. Wow. Wow. This couldn't have... Seriously? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Seriously. So I shall call... <laughs> Play that first. And then... There's got to be a way to remulligan what you've already drawn. Because <laughs> these are terrible cards. Like, <sighs> maybe, is there, like, check the rule book, because maybe there is. No, I think you, I think what you do is you draw, you, at the end of the round, you, d you get rid of what you don't want. Mm -hmm. And then you draw up to your, um, each player may discard any number of cards from their hand. Then players draw until they have e cards equal to their hand size. Yeah, that's it. So, there's no remulligan from what you drew. Mm. Okay, so who are you picking? I'm picking, I will be calling Isabella Nowak to the stand, please. Alright, so you get two points, I get zero. Oops. Um, plus one value to all paintings played during this witness. Sway one magnifying glass on a victory. Mm. Right. So, um, I go first, right? Uh, sure. Okay. I am going to use my procedure. And if I have the judge's favor, I can shuffle up to five arguments from my discard into my deck. Then lose the judge's favor and discard the card. Okay. So, I have to shuffle five arguments. Yeah, so find five arguments that you like. One, two... Is it random? Or no, you? just pick five that you want. I see. Okay, so I just use that to pick five. And then, and then what is it? Shuffle up to five arguments from your discard. I think it's a shuffle. It doesn't say choose. Because it says shuffle up to five arguments from your discard into your No, deck. that means take five arguments and shuffle them into your deck. So pick five and then shuffle them into oh. your deck is what that means. Oh, into the deck, not the hand. Right. Not to your hand, your deck. Oh, all right, fine. To <laughs> use later. 
While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and play my turn. Yeah, go for it. Um, I'm going to play... Um, what was I going to do? This one. So that's three points. There's no, it just says it's victory, so if I happen to win this, that's what I would happen. Um, resolve the victory of effect of another card in your examination, which, okay. So it is now um, your turn. Okay. You're still picking your arguments? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, man. All right, 12 hours later. Um, sorry. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. I will do Ooh. Okay. That one. <laughs> okay. Um, so does that do anything? Examine. Plus two value for each mind card currently in your examination. Um, so I, I still don't know if that counts or not. I, yeah, it's okay. If we ruled it out last time, we, we won't do it. It's fine. I just put that there. there all right. I'm going to do this one. It says plus two for each heart currently in your examination. Now, does that count that one? I would. In including the card? Oh, I would say like your own. Like No, I meant this side. is, it says for every mind, this is a mind icon. So yeah. like, does that, does this affect also yeah, affect I, that I card? Would say, I would say that. Alright, so then you need, did you increase yours by two then? Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so four. So if you're going to do that, I'm going to do yeah, it with mine. absolutely. I would say. So plus two value for each heart. Two and two is four. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add four to mine. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't, though. Like, why... I don't know. Like, again, there's some rule... This this game needs a serious FAQ <laughs> section. Yeah. My turn? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so... What are these? Arguments. Arguments. Okay. If I intend Yeah, this oh man, that's gonna hurt me in the face. Okay. Oh no no no. Go in. Go lay down. Okay. Oh, man, I'm gonna cry. All right. Oh, I see. Sorry, real quick, I'm, I'm just, ugh. All right, so you match that. Okay, so 3D, no, so nothing for you there. No points. No. Um, this is... You don't have a painting. Okay, so no painting. I should have saved it. <laughs> it's fine. I'm going to play this one plus two for each thumbs up. Wow. So that's a uh, four. Yep, four. So I'm up to 11. Okay. Uh, this one. Plus two for each scale card currently in my examination. So that's six. Six. Oh my gosh. So what are you up to now? Ten. Ten. Um... Yeah, um, 
there's nothing I can do. So I have to pass. Alright. I'm gonna play this one. Examine plus five value if you have four or more scale in examination. So that's five. Yeah. So fifteen. Yeah. Then I'll play my last one. Plus two value for each thumb card, which is just two. Okay, so you get another two. Seventeen. All right, so you won the witness. Okay. Victory sway one magnifying glass. That one over there. And now the difference is seventeen to eleven. It's six. So you get six. What does this mean? Plus one value to all paintings played during this witness. Meaning. Value meaning these little symbols up uh, the numbers on the oh. upper. Did you have any paintings? I had the the. Oh, so you should have gotten one. an extra point. I think that was it though. All right, so it would be seven eighteen minus eleven is seven, so you get seven swaying for down here. All right. All right. So how many points did I have? Seven. Um. Yeah. So eighteen minus eleven is seven. So you can sway that many. Okay. Um. Alright. I'll do... Hmm. I'll do six and seven over there. The magnifying glass. This one? Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to reset to zero. I get favor. What's this one? All right, well, first let me draw cards. Um, that's assuming I get what I need. I guess I'll take the chance. One, two, three. Okay, jeez. So with what I've got there, Either symbol. Well, I kind of have to play this one because I get points. Mm -hmm. Minus five value to all paintings. Okay. Uh, do play during this witness. So two points for me, zero for you. Mm -hmm. And for my first card, I mean, I guess I'll save that for last, but okay. Well, man, don't want to do that. Okay, I need to play that later. Okay, so... Mm. I kind of have to do that. For, okay, so... Jeez. There, oh, come on! <laughs> I want to play all of my cards, but I can't. I know, it's tough. <laughs> the matching in this game, dude. Um, all right, so maybe I will, or do I play, rather than, does it matter? No, I don't think it matters. I could play that one, then that one, and that one, then, okay. So I think, I think I've got a clear line here. I could do... This one, nice. which is um, cancel the primary or secondary value, which it doesn't affect you at all. So I'm just going to add two to mine. It's four. Okay. Um, onto. Five. 
Right, holy cow. Okay, so you get five points? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna zoom the in. evidence shows. I see. <laughs> um, I guess I have to play this one. It's just a wild. And it is your turn. Two points, examine. There's no painting. No paintings? You don't okay. have a painting. Okay. Because yours is just procedure and what is it? The argument? Yeah, procedure and argument. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play this one. Nice. Uh, examine. Play one evidence from your hand to your examination, ignoring bias. Wow. That's so I'm going to play this one, which is evidence. Wow. So I get five there, so I'm up to nine. And it is your turn. Okay, this one. Three. So. It's ten. You're up to ten. I will play this one, which is plus two value for each mind card currently. Wow. That's three. So it's six. So I'm up to fifteen. Fifteen? Yes. You know what? I'll pass. You'll pass. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, did you have any paintings at all? Oh my gosh. No paintings. Yeah, I'll pass. All right. So, uh, victory, sway one, thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sway... Mm. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we didn't have any paintings. So this defeat doesn't count, right? Correct. Oh, man. Can I play one card or is it too late? What, what do you want to play? Just this one for three extra points. Go ahead. One, two, three. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. I thought I would have a painting, but it just clicked that we didn't even have paintings. So victory, sway one thumbs up. Good. I'm going to sway, considering this game is going the way it's going, I need to... Oh. Wow. I've got one, two, three, four... I've got four drawers out of twelve. Uh, oh man, there's no way. I I gotta push as many drawers to my side. I'm gonna have to do the two, even though I don't want to do that. Um, so 15 minus 13 is two. two. So I get to sway another two. So I'll sway that one mm -hmm. further into that. Okay. So these get discarded. These get discarded. This is mine. This goes to you. Did I lose the last one? I don't remember. No, you won it. Not this one, but the last one. Who was the last witness that was the neutral one? I, sh yeah. I should have had a sidebar. Oh. My bad. Well, That's... this was blue already. But yeah, you sh you definitely have a sidebar. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So I have to drop the five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and zoom out. Sorry, for the, I was zoomed in when I moved, I moved this one up. Mm. I, with the victory, I swayed it once, and then my two points, I swayed it again. Yeah. So, right to zero. And there's only one witness left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. Hmm. All right. So, are you going to call this you, one? You have to call it, right? I, I won. Oh. So, it's your, you've got the prosecution. That's the last one, right? Last one. Yeah. So, so you yeah. get two points, I get zero. Okay. Um, when called, both players draw one evidence from their opponent's discard. So you draw an evidence from my discard, and... Is it random? No. Draw me... Whenever a draw is said, according to the rulebook, you pick. Wow. Um... Let's 
see. Evidence. Oh, they have to be evidence, right? Yeah, evidence. Okay. Hmm. That one. No, that wouldn't work. She's um. I guess that one. That works. Okay. All right. I think. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hold on. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a crazy round. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So if I did that and that, I'd hate to have to burn it then, but I could, okay. I played that second. Here you go. I did this part. Alright. Alright, well you get to go first. You've got the favor. I think you've got this, because you've got more jurors right now than I do. Still though, like you can make a really good comeback. Oh, I will, first I'm going to do is put this as a procedure right here. All right, so what does that do? If you have judge's favor, something, something. <laughs> Search the buried evidence and draw one of your choice. So that allows you to, to get a card from buried evidence. Yes. All right, I guess I'll come out swinging. Nice. With a, um, a five. A five. Okay. Um. Oh man. Oh. Gosh. I will do this one. Okay. Procedure it. You're gonna use that. Search buried evidence. No, wait, this doesn't fall over, sorry. Uh, search buried ev evidence and draw one of your choice, and then lose a judge's favor and discard it. Yeah. And this is buried evidence? Yeah, that's buried evidence. Okay. And then I choose one? Yeah, you get to choose one. This is going to be a rough round. <laughs> this is. I know it. I just know it. Gotta take your turn, I'm sorry. No, you can. Uh, hmm. If I play this, that can't. Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I guess I can't use that. Okay. Um, I'll wait till you're done because that might affect what you take. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're good? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna play this one. That's another three points. Okay. Examine. Your opponent discards one painting, which you don't have any right now. Okay. Um. Okay. I will do this one. What is that one? Uh, gain the judge's favor. You may take another action. Another action. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. So scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, okay, okay. No, I can't. Oh man, that sucks. That is 
bogus. Okay. And I can't do that. Oh my god, this is so awful. Mm -hmm. Plus two value for each heart. Alright, so that's four points. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna play that one. That's plus two for each scale. So there's six. Okay. So it's plus six. Nice. I'm up to fourteen. Could be this one, yeah. Okay. Don't want to do it, but I have to. What does that do? Uh, reveal your hand. Play with your hand revealed until the current witness is claimed. Okay. So you have to show me your hand now. You hate that. I do. <laughs> All right, so based on what I see here, you can play that one next, which in turn lets you play these. My God, you're gonna win this. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can compete with that. Holy cow. Um, you could try. <laughs> I think you'll, you can do it. I don't know. All right. You could use your sidebar to draw a card, too. I could. I know. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will. Mm -hmm. I need more more opportunities to do things, I think. Um, so this goes to you? Yeah. All right. I'm going to do the same. <laughs> okay. And I have to reveal this one, too, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we got a wild there. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, it's going to kill me not to do that first, but I don't have any choice. Well, I, I have to. Um, you've got a potential 10 points there. That is crazy. Um, and I could get rid of... Oh, wow. So do I want... Well, I could come... No, I, I have no choice. I have to play something that matches. So I have to play one of these. And then, depending on what you do... No, but if I if I play the I have to play this. If I don't, then I can't chain the rest of these. Um, okay. Wow. All right. It's this hurts. <laughs> but I've no other way of doing this. Yeah. Um, this says to if the top card of your opponent's examination is evidence, it's not. Mm -hmm. Then discard it. Yeah. I have to do this though to keep playing. Yeah. So I get two points. Nice. So, one, two. I'm going to put this off to the side as a procedure. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this one. Argument. Nice. And it's plus two for every magnifying glass. Wow. That's eight. That's amazing. So, I'm on 24. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. I have to do this one. All right, and that is bury all paintings from your opponent's examination and discard. That's uh, on victory. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what are you at now? Uh, that was fourteen. So you're. So I'm only ten above. So. Wait, you got twenty-four? Yeah, I got eight from that. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. Wow. Well, I 
I guess I'll play this next. I can't beat you, babe. Well, <laughs> you've got that. That's three points. It says cancel the victory effect of this witness, which I kind of have to do to keep ahead of you. Yeah. So I'm up to 27. I can't beat you. That's insane. Yeah, you beat me. However, you may have another evidence card that'll like shoot you through the roof. That's why you put that down knowing this one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but again, well, yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Well, maybe. Or maybe he needed to put that down in order to even get that card off. So maybe I should play it as soon as possible. I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> I hate this stuff. This is what I hate in a game. Okay. Yeah. See, I feel like he has another mind. It's either mind, heart. It's just three points. What, what did it, is it just three points? What it's just it? three points. Examine, cancel the victory effect of that. But you're not going to cancel that, right? Well, I have to. It says cancel oh. the victory. So, yeah, I have to cancel the, vi the victory effect of that. But I kind of need the points anyway, so. I'll just play this one. What's that one? Three points. Three points. Play one evidence from your hand to your examination, ignoring bias, which I can do, but I'll wait until you do first. <laughs> well, examination, you have to. Oh, I have to? Yeah. Oh, fudge nuggets. So that's eight. Eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. Okay, 22. You're up to 22. All right, last card, two points. Evidence. Yeah, it says if you have five or more cards in your examination, which I do, sway one bias, you have to play that on your turn. I get to still oh, do yeah. that when it happens. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no! I'm swaying <laughs> this crap. to the six up there. Damn. But you can now use that to get rid of two points. I should have gotten rid of it beforehand for that other one that gave you an extra point. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going to use that. All right, so you've got the judge's favor. That gets rid of this. I lose two points. Did I add two here or no? Yeah. So that's uh, uh, eight, ten. Until 13. 14. Well, well, 13 plus eight is... No, no, I'm all confused. Sorry. No, I don't remember if I added two or not to this. Yeah, add, uh, add two. Go ahead. No, well, you're getting rid of it, so I have to get rid of that two. Oh, okay. So I just won't touch it. 27. Um, it was... Five, eight, two for each. Okay, so it was four points for the scouts. Twelve, two. It's fourteen. Fourteen plus eight is twenty. It's, yes, twenty-seven. Okay. Right, so that's where we're at. Wow. Okay. It's crazy. So what were you, what did you end 22. up? Twenty-two. All right, so that's five, five points. points. All right, wow. so this cancels the effect of that. Mm -hmm. So I've got five points to move things. I don't know if that's possible. Um, if I do one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and then I have one point left, and I can't. You could lock a hard down. Well, I can't lock anything. Not lock, but like. But move it further. further yeah. But. Which uh, is really good because now I only have one, two, three. <laughs> I lost. I don't know. So these go in discard pile. <laughs> I totally lost. These go in discard. I claim this witness. Now at the end of the game, we look at the jurors and see who has more sway to their side. <laughs> wow. I have one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh no, that's no, number that's one. you. So eight to four. Wow, that was a good job. Wow. The defense rests. Okay, the defense rests. <laughs> Assuming that we played correctly, which I'm sure we didn't, but...
<laughs> so what did you think of this? I love this You love game. this game? I w- I've been looking forward to this for like, what, a year now? Yeah, I ordered this a while ago. We've been looking up videos online and it's been... Uh, we've been, I've been anxious because like this game is completely different than what we're used to. It's, it's a, it's a very, yes, you're matching symbols, but like, it's very, I I don't know. Like I didn't like watching Law and Order growing up, but I I do like episodes of like Stargate Mm -hmm. or Star Trek that have a a law judge uh, jury thing to them. Mm -hmm. So like, this was kind of up my alley, kind of, sort of, um, what were you gonna say? I am a huge Law and Order fan. <laughs> huge. So when I first saw this, I was like, okay, this looks really interesting. And then I saw how it played, and I'm like, okay, this looks really cool that you can sway judges. You have like a deck of cards. That's awesome. I just wish there were dice. And then you. Well, there are play- dice, but for the single player. Oh, really. oh my gosh, I have to play this. I do wish there was co-op. That's the only downside, I think. The issues that um, the issues that I have with the game, well, I don't know if it, I missed it. Logical, more legal. Okay, so these arguments all have the examine effect. Uh, when one of these cards is played, it gains plus two value for each card, including this one, in that player's examination. Once this card is played, the value is not further changed. Okay, so we did that part right. We included yeah. the card, but do should we have included the, the symbols the that were on the witness? I, it doesn't say that. I say yes, only because you need to chain off of them. In the yeah, place, I, I mean, you know? it might be in the rule book that, um, like, it might be in the rule book. It says for, uh, it just says bias symbols. It doesn't say, like, I need, I need an explanation as to where the player's Exam- examination begins mm-hmm. does it begin with your first card or does it begin with the symbols on the witness so like there was there's some faq questions i would have added to the rule book stuff like that yeah. that might help explain things um g- uh, granted we didn't play perfectly but i liked it um my problem with it was when you're chaining cards you can only chain off the last one yeah. and like if you drew poorly yeah. You're screwed. Like, there's got to be more ways. Like, I would have preferred a hand limit of six. Mm-hmm. Just give you more options per turn. Like, I felt very limited by my hand draws. Like, I felt like I was playing Magic the Gathering, and I was relying on cards coming up that I needed to win. And I'm like, that's why I don't play Magic the Gathering, mm-hmm. because... I, just... I, th- I think that's where drafting, that whole drafting phase takes into place. Right. But now that we know... We can kind of... Right, I did that. I had five cards, but still, like, even still, if you... I drew three cards on one draw, and all of them were zero points, and all of them said, get plus two for each of this symbol in your yeah, array. I did that. I'm like, too. well... And then when you ruined that one card thing I had, yeah. I had no further plays because it was the card I needed to chain, mm-hmm. to continue my chain. Mm-hmm. So, like, there are ways to... This is a really take that kind of game. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's a legal lawyer kind of thing, so that and prosec- it's, it makes sense. It should be, but I'm typically not a fan of take that games. But this one was decent. I don't like take that games. I don't think I recall one game that's a, that has a take that mechanic that I like, and this is the only one that I actually like because mm-hmm. of the theme. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I d- I still wish it was co-op. Well, maybe the solo player variant can be played together, and you can suggest things to each other mm-hmm. as you play. Maybe. That's one. That's one idea, anyway. Um, or, or like, I wish like a bunch of people, you know, can have different parts of the juror and and, and the def- and the pro- prosecutor, and then the AI bot is like a defense. Sure. <laughs> okay, you write that up, and you tell me what you come up with. I'm... Okay. Uh huh. It'll have so much dice. Oh my god. Roll 15 <laughs> dice, yeah. then roll them again for no reason. Modify them. Modify, yeah, no. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, I like... I like it more than I hate it, but there are some aspects to it that I don't like. Mm. It's I don't like the the reliance on the symbols heavily. Like, like again, if I had more cards in my hand, that would be negated. Mm. I feel like you're reliant so much on luck with your card draws to get the right proper chaining going. This That's what have, I felt like. This would have had a great market, like a, like. I guess for, I don't know if it has for thematic. It would be kind of weird, but if it had like an evidence shop, and then you could like, an evidence shop. 
Is that what they do in <laughs> like real life? The black market, you know? Sure, okay. <laughs> the, 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 the corrupt area. The underground, yeah, I get it. <laughs> that would be cool. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe that's an expansion. <laughs> I don't know. So that you could, you like this? I did. I mean, that could mitigate the whole RNG of picking up like cards that wouldn't be able to Maybe. play together. So as long as I could play them immediately, I don't know. That's that's just that's way <laughs> way out there. Okay. <laughs> like I like the idea of the tokens being a one time use, except for sidebar. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Like I like that stuff. I like the theme. Again, my my biggest problem was just the RNG from the card draws. Yeah. That's it. This, um, this makes me want like a Save by the Bell game, a Ghostbusters board game. For what? Like just, of the exact same theme? No, but like like this really felt like a Law and Order SVU type of game, and now I just want like all shows. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see. So more of a TV themed thing than mm -hmm. a lawyer theme. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you go, folks. That was Lawyer Up. Um, a unique game, for sure. Um, it, it's not perfect, at least in my opinion, but it does more good than it does bad. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.